consider how much people really need to know. Does everyone really need to know that you just had a sandwich? We all know how big a role social media plays in our lives today, and what many people don't realize is how big a role social media can potentially play in a divorce. When you're going through a divorce, it's crucial to approach social media very carefully and potentially very differently than you would normally use it. The online world can either support your emotional well-being during this challenging time, or it can completely exacerbate the difficulties. And what you post could potentially blow up in your face. I've seen it happen. I want you to look at social media as the world's biggest bullhorn and imagine everybody out there, including your spouse, will see or hear everything you say or post. So with that in mind, here are some do's to help guide you through your social media activity during a divorce. The first thing, definitely think before you post when you're going through a divorce. Before sharing any updates or thoughts about your divorce on social media, take a moment to think about the potential consequences. Consider the impact that your words may have on your spouse, your children, even your legal proceedings. Remember that once something is posted online, it can be challenging to erase. So my best advice for you is don't talk about your divorce on social media. You could cause a whole lot of trouble for yourself if you start spewing negativity about your spouse online. I have seen this happen and it never ends well. The second do regarding social media during divorce is use privacy settings. Adjust your privacy settings to control who can see your posts. Limiting your audience ensures that only the closest friends and family have access to your personal updates. This helps maintain a level of discretion and it minimizes the chances of information reaching unintended recipients. Again, don't post anything you really don't need to post on social media. The third thing you should do on social media during a divorce is promote positivity. When you post on social media during a divorce or any other family law case, share the positive aspects of your life or something funny. Posting uplifting content not only benefits your mental health, but it also gives you the opportunity to create a new constructive image during a challenging time in your life. Make your online presence a reflection of the positive changes that you're making in your life. Show that new you. A divorce is not a negative time. I know everybody looks at it that way, but let's change that. It's freedom from something that isn't bringing one or both of you the happiness that you deserve. So ethically moving past that period in your life is a great thing. It's like seeing the sun come out again after storm clouds have been hovering overhead for a long time. I want you to see it that way. The fourth thing to do on social media during a divorce is seek support offline. While it's tempting to share your emotions online, seeking support from friends and family offline is always more beneficial. Do you really want to spill all your misery and sadness out there for the world to see? Face-to-face -face interactions provide a safe space for discussions without the added complexities that can arise from digital communication. For example, there's no permanent shared record of a conversation with a friend over coffee or lunch or a drink like there is when you post online about it. If you're one of those people who uses social media to document your entire life online, be thoughtful and intentional about the content you share. Also, consider how much people really need to know. Does, does everyone really need to know that you just had a sandwich? Avoid venting your frustrations or airing grievances about your spouse publicly. It will come back to bite you eventually. These posts live forever and they can be used against you in legal proceedings, detrimentally affecting the outcome of custody battles or financial settlements. If you follow my advice about the do's regarding social media when going through a divorce, I promise you that things will go much more smoothly and you'll recover and become the new you much more quickly. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click subscribe, like, follow, and turn on the alerts so that you get notified when we post our newest videos. Please share these videos and leave us some comments, ask us questions, tell us what other topics you'd like for me to talk about. Join our Facebook group at Georgia Divorce and Custody for more information. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.